So I want you all to know <clears throat> that I'm recording this during the Super Bowl. So I'm doing both, watching the game and recording. Look at this multitasking. So if I seem distracted, I am because something's going on. Go Rams. I'll probably regret that statement, but go Rams. Okay. So um, this lecture, you need to take notes in the Gilded Age Interactive Notebook Part 2 for Unions. Um, and the first thing you need to know is what a labor union is. And a labor union is a group of workers that organizes to gain rights for themselves. So what happens is that employees who feel like they are being wronged by the um, their employers, they get together and they fight for their rights as employees. Um, and so we're going to see this happen a lot during the industrialization age, especially with women working, children working, and immigrants working. So the first labor union you need to know about is the Knights of Labor. They were founded in 1869. So notice all the underlying things. Those are the important things you need. They were founded in 1869 in Philadelphia. In order to identify themselves, they had secret handshakes. Um, it became a national union, what is that, 11 years later in 1880. Um, Terrence V. Powderly was their leader. Um, and the lure or why people wanted to join the Knights of Labor is because it recruited members that were previously excluded. Women, African Americans, and immigrants. So Knights of Labor was an all-inclusive labor union. The next labor, oh, so before the Knights of Labor, sorry, I forgot about this part. Before the Knights of Labor, um, unions were not successful for many reasons. Um, one of those reasons is that there weren't enough people in the unions to make an impact. You're not going to make an impact if two or three people are complaining. Um, you need a larger group of people who have these concerns to make an impact. Um, some people were excluded from membership, so women, African Americans, and immigrants weren't previously allowed to join. Um, and most unions only represented one trade. So you had like the clothing workers union or the Pullman Porters union, or unions are very specific to people's jobs. And so um, this first union is like all inclusive of. A bunch of jobs and people. Uh, so the American Federation of Labor, um, AFL, represented skilled laborers. So this represented a wide variety of trades, not just one trade. Um, it was nationalized in 1886 and led by Samuel Gompers. Um, it grew in members despite the negative press and strikes. So we'll get to some strikes later. Um, but despite all the negativity surrounding unions, um, the AFL grew. Um, the International Garment Workers Union, uh, ILGWU, that's your last box, um, worked for safer conditions after the Triangle Shirtwaist Fire. So we're going to talk about the Triangle Shirtwaist Fire in class, but the IGWU um, became really strong after this fire and after hundreds of thousands of girls were killed. Unions fought for higher wages, shorter work days, better working conditions, safer working conditions, and collective bargaining. You need to know these five. Higher wages, shorter work days, better working conditions, safer working conditions, and collective bargaining. Um, there was a negative, reputa negative reputation for labor unions. So um, employers didn't like labor unions uh, because they would have to pay their workers more they had to change their business practices and Americans didn't trust labor unions because they were thought they thought they were troublemakers and they, they were dangerous groups of people so um, here's some reasons why Americans thought this way about labor unions so there, there was a Haymarket riot of 1886 
Um, a bomb was set off, and it killed and injured many, and this was in Chicago. There was a homestead strike of 1892, 1894, um, and authorities were called in to keep the peace, and then the authorities clashed with protesters as well. And then the Pullman Porter strike of 1894, workers refused to handle trains, which stopped transportation across the country. The president had to step in and end it. And just so you know, most Pullman Porters were black. Okay, that's what you need to know about unions. The most important things are what they fought for. You will also need to know uh, these three strikes for your quiz on Friday. If you have any questions, please let me know. See you in class.